Are you considering moving to the community of Trilogy Glen Ivy? Well, if you are, then stick around because in this video, I'll share the top five pros and five cons of living in the community of Trilogy at Glen Ivy. Hi, my name is Casey, and on this channel, I share information about the communities of Trilogy at Glen Ivy and the community of Terramore here in Corona. So if you think this is something you'd find helpful, I'd love if you hit the like and the subscribe buttons below. Okay, so let's jump in and start with the top five pros or the benefits of living in the community of Trilogy at Glen Ivy. Number one, it's a well-established community. The community of Trilogy has been around for over 20 years now, but it's one of the most well-maintained communities I've ever seen. And when you drive through the community, you'll see exactly what I'm talking about. The trees are mature and there's shade everywhere. And the front yards of almost every home look beautiful. You'll actually see real grass in most yards, nice landscaping, and lush plants everywhere. And you'll see colorful flowers all around the community. It's just a beautiful place and the residents here take pride in their community. And they do reinvest a lot of their HOA money into keeping this community looking the way it does. And because of it, Trilogy has always been known as one of the top 55 and older communities here in Southern California. Number two, they have a strong HOA. Everybody loves to complain about their HOA, and I get it. In fact, I do it too. But an HOA can be the difference between having a great community and having a terrible one. And in my opinion, a properly run HOA is usually what makes the difference. The HOA is responsible for maintaining the community, so they have to select and hire the right people, like the landscapers, the contractors, and the repair companies, to keep the community looking its best. And they have to get repairs done in a timely manner too. People are never happy if they have to pay an HOA fee but can't use amenities because they're broken or shut down. So if you have an HOA that makes responsible decisions for the community and still keeps financial reserves on hand for emergencies, then that's a win. And from what I've seen here in Trilogy, the HOA is doing an amazing job. Number three, the amount of activities. When you look at the amenities and activities available in the community of Trilogy, it's pretty amazing. They have your typical amenities that you'd expect from a 55 and older community. Things like swimming pools, exercise equipment, pickleball, bocce ball, and tennis. But in addition to this, Trilogy has over 60 clubs and groups for their residents. Plus they have access to the golf course at Glen Ivy too. Now I show properties all over Southern California and I have to say that I've never seen any other community offer more than what Trilogy does. And again, I think this comes down to the fact that it's been around for 20 years and the residents at Trilogy have done a great job in getting involved in creating groups for just about everyone. Number four, lower property taxes. This is an area that we see a big advantage for Trilogy at Glen Ivy when compared with the community of Terramore. In Terramore, property taxes are very high, right around 1.7 to 1.8%. But in Trilogy, property taxes are 1.1 to 1.2%. So let me give you an example. Let's say you're considering a $700,000 home. Now in Terramore, the property taxes would be almost $12,000 per year. But that same $700,000 home in Trilogy would have property taxes of around $7,700. And that's a really big difference. In fact, it's a savings of about $4,300 per year. So this is definitely something to consider. And finally, number five, lower home prices. The home prices in the community of Trilogy are definitely priced lower than the neighboring community of Terramore. When you look at the recent sales numbers, you'll see the average sales price of a home in the community of Terramore was right around $769,000 but the average sales price of a single family home in the community of Trilogy is 661,000. So that means the average price of a home in Trilogy is $107,000 lower than across the way in the community of Terramore. So when shopping for a home, your money definitely goes further in the community of Trilogy. Now let's take a look at some of the cons or the negative things about living in Trilogy. And for me, this was a little bit harder to come up with because I really do feel like Trilogy is a great community. But let me share with you a few cons that I hear from people about the community of Trilogy. Number one, the age of the community. And as I mentioned before, the community of Trilogy has been around for over 20 years. So that does mean that the homes and the amenities are a little bit older. And I have seen other 55 and older communities that were older like Trilogy. And some of these communities, you can definitely see the signs of aging. Things like older exercise equipment, rundown furniture around the swimming pool, or the landscaping not being maintained. And if the HOA doesn't actively address these things, a community can start to look run down very quickly but I don't see these things happening in Trilogy, but the fact is the community is over 20 years old. Number two, some homes do need updating. Now this goes hand in hand with item number one. When a home is 20 years old, some of the styles and trends can become outdated, and there are some relatively easy upgrades that can make a dramatic change in the appearance of a dated home. Simple things like removing wallpaper, replacing flooring, and just painting the walls can make a huge difference in the appearance of a home. And I always try to point this out to people looking at homes in Trilogy, because when someone takes the time to update a home here, they really do look beautiful. Number three, the traffic. 
There really is no good way to sugarcoat this one. Traffic here in South Corona is absolutely terrible. And I've lived in Southern California my entire life, and I've seen a lot of traffic over the years. But the design of the 15 freeway is a complete failure. Over the past few years, they have made improvements to the 91 freeway, and it's helped. But when you transition south on the 15 freeway towards Trilogy, you'll see the problem. The freeway starts off with six lanes, but over the next three and a half miles, it reduces it down to just three lanes. And what happens is a huge bottleneck at the Cahalco Drive exit. And your drive from the 91 freeway south to Cahalco can easily add 30 to 40 minutes to your drive, especially during the peak times. So you just have to keep in mind that the traffic here is a real problem, just like most parts of Southern California. Number four, there are very few restaurants nearby. Now this isn't a huge problem, but you really won't find a lot of dining options close to the community of Trilogy. We do have a few fast food options like Carl's Jr., Pizza Hut, Subway, and Tom's Farms. But if you want to sit down at a restaurant, you'll have to drive about five or six miles north to either the shops at Dos Lagos or the crossings. And again, this isn't a huge issue for most people, but Trilogy is located at the very south end of Corona, and most of the restaurants and shopping are located a little bit further north. And finally, number five, we do have hot summer months. It does get pretty hot here in Corona during the summer months, but this really depends on what you compare it to. If you're talking about out in the desert area like Palm Springs, then no, it's not hot at all. The desert areas typically see temperatures in the 115 to 118 degree range in the summer months. But here in Corona, it's not uncommon for us to see temperatures between 95 and 102 during the summer months. But compared to some of the coastal areas in Orange County, this could be 15 to 20 degrees hotter. So it's just important to keep in mind that it does get pretty hot here in Corona, especially during the summer months. Now, in my opinion, the pros definitely outweigh the cons when you're talking about the community of Trilogy at Glen Ivy. It's a very well-established, well-maintained 55 and older community. And I just don't think you could go wrong by choosing this community as your home. As I've mentioned in previous videos, one of the biggest problems for Trilogy right now is the fact that there simply aren't many homes for sale. But hopefully this will loosen up soon and we'll start to see more homes coming on the market. But if you'd like to see a list of the homes that are available in Trilogy, I'll put a link in the description below. And if you have any questions at all, please just let me know.